Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. An embattled Knob Hill restaurant owner swirled in speculation about why his restaurant shuttered is now speaking out about what happened. He told his side of the story to News 13's Jeannie Nguyen and she's here with what he said. Jeannie. Madeline, Steve Paternoster was the owner of Scalo Northern Italian Grill, a popular restaurant that closed last month and since then he hasn't answered our calls until now. That business, it doesn't belong to me, it belongs to us. It went down kicking and screaming. In mid-December, Scalo Northern Italian Grill posted to Facebook it was closed due to a water leak. To this day, it's still closed. The water pipe was definitely a nail in the coffin, but there were tax troubles as well. And now, owner Steve Paternoster admits the water leak wasn't the only problem. A letter from the building's landlord claims Paternoster and his wife, Scalo co-owner Jane Fertig, missed $84,000 in rent. Paternoster had a reason for that. The thing that may have sunk my business was getting into a building that was in pitiful repair. We also know Fertig requested for sole ownership of Scalo. In court documents, she blamed him for the restaurant's decline, claiming he took money from the business and caused scenes in front of employees and customers. Did I cause a scene in the restaurant? Twice. And I'll tell you exactly why. I wasn't getting a paycheck. I'm broke. I didn't have any other source of income. She also claimed Paternoster is a drug addict. Do you have a drug problem? No. No, and, and, and I'm glad you asked. But he did admit to a past drinking problem and behavioral health issues which he sought help for. Earlier this month, a judge granted Fertig that sole ownership of Scalo. What Jane's doing is an absolutely heroic thing. I stand all the way behind her. He also expressed remorse for what happened to his beloved establishment. I never planned this for Scalo. We went through a period of time that was difficult for us and maybe I didn't handle it very well. As for his employees, Paternoster says they didn't deserve to go through this and miss paychecks. He claims he'll pay them back very soon. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. So the big question is, will Scalo reopen? Paternoster says yes, and he gave us a date of roughly February 8th. 